communal lands. He gave an update on the Ushbenka situation. I also want to draw a parallel between Halakte and, uh, and uh, Ushbenka, the Santa Cruz situation. Essentially, if again, proper attention is not given to the situation of Halakte, the Maya people can be blamed again for standing to defend their rights, their property. I, I wanted to, to emphasize that point. In the case of uh, Santa Cruz, we just heard from Dr. Morris uh, a few days ago uh, through an email where he has explained that uh, um, they sh he should be in PG today, again following up in person with, uh, with the status of, uh, of Mr. Miles still being on the site. I understand through his email that uh, a letter has been served to Mr. Miles and uh, there's no clarity in terms of uh, the Institute of Agriculture whether he has complied or not. And, and I understood from his email today where he was going to take the opportunity to validate for himself whether he has complied or not. Uh, I also get from the email that they will continue to pursue then the next uh, uh, course of action in terms of pursuing legal action against, uh, against uh, Mr. Miles. Now, for the community, that is uh, all they've been asking, at least to know what the status is. This is the first time we've heard since the incident uh, of what exactly is going on. So, so we're pleased to know that there's some uh, some activity towards resolving that situation. The Santa Cruz 13 reappeared before Magistrate Emerson Banner in Punta Gorda on Tuesday. That case has once again been adjourned to a later date. The Museum of Belize was closed for business 